Uh, this is a big deal, though. Epic just bought uh, Psyonix, the developer of Rocket League. So they own Rocket League now. They own Rocket League. That's crazy. That's a game that gets played in my house often. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, coming off the Steam store at some point. That's okay. We play it on the Xbox. They're going to pull it right off Xbox now. Ah, don't. Well, don't tell me. Tell Elliot. It's getting review bombed right now because <laughs> people, uh-huh. because gamers. But I don't know. Seems like a good move. It does. Although I do, I'm sure that the game has a loyal Steam following, which would be why people would be upset. I could understand that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. You know what? Back in the day, there were no launchers. You just you got the game, you installed it on your computer, and it just sat there. Each game had its own launcher, and there was no way that we could just say, "Oh, look at this! A big list of all my games in one spot that I can jerk off to." Really? And we were fine. You know what? It was. I fine. had that. I just used the notebook. <laughs> Shipwreck used Excel. You <laughs> six? Like, so did they have Excel in '87? Uh, Lotus one, two, three. All right. That's what I used to track my fantasy hockey stats. I mean, my um, not my fantasy hockey, my um, Wayne Gretzky hockey on PC. Nice. Anyway, what are we talking about? Earthworm Jim. <laughs> no. I know Rocket Rocket League. So, I mean, I guess when they move from Steam completely off and only onto the Epic Store, and you own the game on Steam, I assume you'll still be able to play it. Yeah. And you still have all your current content. You just, you just won't, won't... You won't be able to buy new content for the right, game. Right, which is a major point of the game, and there won't be new players as well, right? Unless, so. is there a way that they can, you know, Epic's, you know, they make they make Fortnite... And on Fortnite, if you have a username and a login and you logged in to say I'm sure they'll work that out. Rocket League into the Epic Store with your Epic account, could it carry all your stuff over so you can then just start playing on the Steam Store without losing any progress or content? And this way you can be part of the new ecosystem. Or does that just make too much sense? No, I think the idea I'm sure they're gonna have some sort of migration. But the idea is if you're going to start playing now, don't, Wait. Play on, yeah, don't play on Steam. Yeah, Just go right to Epic. Yeah, or play it on the Xbox. It's on right. Game Pass. You don't have to worry about it. It's free there. Well, free-ish. Did we want to say anything? with a monthly fee. Huh? Right. Did we want to say anything about Earthworm, Earthworm Jim coming Isn't back? It, He's back. It, it's coming to what now? Like it's coming Commodore? To the, it's coming to the Intellivision Amico. I don't even know. Exclusively. I don't even know. Oh my God. What? I don't even know what that is. I'm just looking at this picture. I mean, I know what an Intellivision is, but. I haven't seen a picture of this thing before. Oh, okay. Or the name. The Amico. Why are they calling it something that's so close to Amiga, which was also a gaming system? To the Amiibo. (laughs) And the Amiibo. (laughs) Hmm. I like uh, those controllers, though. Those are cool looking, you know, in television style controllers. Those controllers are ho- fucking hard. Do you remember how horrible they were? Oh, the I know. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it looks cool. What? I mean. <laughs> you can look cool and be horrible at the same time. I mean, just, just look at you. Uh-huh. So there's a there's a live stream coming May 4th for more wow. for more information. I'm still trying to get my mind around these controllers. It looks like my thumb won't. I mean, bleed it's a hundred, hundred, somewhere between one hundred and fifty and one hundred and eighty dollars, right? Uh huh. And then all the games are supposed to be exclusive, and they're all yes. between three and eight dollars, right? I mean, that's an inf- affordable console. So for one hundred and fifty-eight dollars, you can play the the new Earthworm Jim. Sweet. Yes. Which is made by the original development team, or at least some of them. I I don't remember liking the original Earthworm Jim that much. You suck. I guess it was good. I didn't say it was bad. I just said I don't remember. Right. Hmm. It's no Tron Deadly Discs. Nothing is Tron Deadly Discs. <laughs> I I really enjoy Earthworm Jim and Earthworm Jim Two. I just hope it has that He Man game on it. That was good. And television He Man. They gonna have Sna- Are they gonna have Snafu? And sub hunt, lock and chase. I mean, they have all, all of those that they can bring back, right? 
I assume uh, does, so. Does Tommy Tallarico own all of those games now? I'm not sure. It seems like that would be something you'd... But who cares? Like, who's looking for Sub Hunt? Nobody. Oh. Well, good luck. I have a nice collection of Intellivision boxes, as Shipwreck found out when I sent him his replacement microphone. Mm-hmm. 